I'm here at AUSA 2015 with Jeff Wood, Northrop Grumman's Director of Vehicle Modernization. We're standing beside Northrop Grumman's latest light tactical vehicle, Hellhound. Jeff, could you perhaps tell us a little bit about the vehicle and, and talk us through it, please? So we started with a six-man scout squad and ergonomically designed a roll cage uh, around those six uh, scouts. Each one of them is held in with a five-point harness, uh, it's a very safe vehicle for the crew. So that's how we started and then we built out. Uh, the Army is also looking for a very maneuverable off-road uh, vehicle uh, so that they can increase their protection by releasing themselves from roads. So that's what we uh, have, also, have also designed. This is a very capable vehicle off-road. It has 18 inches of wheel travel in the front, 22 in the rear. The powertrain on it is of very powerful. It's powered by a Cummins 250 horsepower 4.5 liter, their ISB engine. And that's coupled to something unique on this vehicle, a, a large energy system, an integrated starter generator from uh, Yanoptic out of Germany. And then that's tied into a 2100 SP Allison transmission. So that produces about 590 foot pound of torque. Um, so the vehicle is very powerful, agile, maneuverable. Um, the energy system is, is uh, very interesting because we have the largest one that we know of on this class of vehicle. As this vehicle is configured right now, it will produce 100 kilowatts of exportable power. And we can use that for either off-board uh, applications or on-board applications. The other thing we did is we, is we uh, increased the firepower on a vehicle this size by placing an M230LF 30 millimeter cannon from ATK on top. Uh, that's the same cannon that's on uh, attack helicopters. That is controlled by a remote weapon station underneath an R400 from EOS and it can be operated from inside, the, safely operated from inside the vehicle. We've made the inside of the cab very modular so you can move a lot of the components around inside uh, however the crew would like to do that. It's, uh, it's technologically heavy in that we've, uh, we've have a VIC-5 system from Northrop Grumman in there for a vehicle intercom system. It puts a gigabit uh, ethernet system into a vehicle. We can operate up to 16 different radio nets inside this vehicle. So it's a very capable uh, vehicle that we think of more as an ISR platform on wheels than we do as simply a truck. Um, currently, it has a carbon fiber enclosure kit on it. I have a, available a Stainag one uh, level one armor kit that's removable. Um, so we think customers may want that option to be able to remove the, um, the armor protection or put it on. As it stands right now, the gross vehicle weights about 13,000 pounds. The armor kit adds about another 2,000 pounds onto it. It's transportable uh, inside and outside of a CH-47. So we actually can stick this vehicle inside a CH-47. We've done it. We compress the suspension down to a kneeled height of 73 inches, and then we actually flip the gun inside the uh, inside the crew compartment. We take the barrel off and we fold it inside to get to the height so we can stick it inside the CH-47. Um, it's certainly sling loadable uh, by a CH-47 or similar helicopter, uh, so we think that gives a lot of uh, capability to the light forces, and that's what the Army's looking for. And Jeff, could you perhaps tell us just a little bit more about the, the energy system and in layman's terms, what uh, 100 kilowatts may be able to deliver? Yeah, so uh, uh, this unique energy system uh, will, will do about 30 kilowatts at idle and uh, at uh, 2200 RPM will do 100 kilowatts. 100 kilowatts is enough to run this entire show floor.